Hey up YouTube and welcome back to the channel and to part 9 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After defeating Genova Birth and lobbing her arm off for some reason, Cloud gives the briefest and most pointless explanation as to what's happened in the story to this point. After this, the gang arrive at the sunny seaside town of Costa del Sol, where they decide to take in a little R&R &R before venturing off. When they arrive on the beach, they spot Hojo, who is clearly still worried about the prospect of melanoma and thinks he can get a nice tan in his lab coat. When the gang try to interrogate him about Sephiroth, he mumbles some gibberish and tells them to head west. This then takes us through the mountains of Coral, where we avoid falling through some rotten old train tracks and Cloud decides to disturb a nest of chicks to grab a few phoenix downs. Safe to say their mom wasn't too happy about this and forces us into a battle. We eventually land at the old mining village of North Coral, where we learn that this is where Barrett is from and that the villagers believe that it is his fault that the town was destroyed by Shinra. A reactor was built here and Barrett and the townspeople were all for the idea at first. They believed that it would bring the people of North Coral an easier life. That was until Shinra decided to burn the village down after an explosion at the reactor claiming that the explosion was an inside job done by a rebel faction. After that bombshell, what better way to perk yourself up than by spending some time at the happiest place in the world, the Gold Saucer. Unfortunately for us, this little forced detour costs us a whopping 3,000 gil, so there's no wonder Barrett is still a little bit <laughs> off. Seeing as we've paid an arm and a leg to get in, we may as well have a wander around, so Cloud decides to take Red 13 on a little walk. Good doggy. It's here in the Wonder Square that we meet Kate Sith, a fortune-telling robotic cat riding on top of a stuffed moogle. Cloud asks Kate Sith if he can find Sephiroth, and with each answer being as cryptic as the last, Kate Sith decides he's going to accompany us until the readings make sense. Kate Sith is pretty useless to be fair, and I genuinely don't think I've ever made a conscious choice to actually use him in the game, so you won't be seeing an awful lot of him. Anyway, after we've had Kate Sith forced upon us, we enter the battle square to find that the guards and the employees have all been shot dead. The lady at the desk, still very much alive for some reason, tells us that a man with a gun on his arm did it. Just as the gang start to believe that Barrett might actually be a serial killer, the owner of the gold saucer, Dio, shows up and plunges us into the depths of the gold saucer, known affectionately as the Desert Prison. We find Barrett next to yet another dead body, and the evidence against him is starting to stack up. We follow him into an old abandoned house, where he then continues his story about the destruction of Coral. Barrett and his best buddy Dime were out of town for a few days when it happened, and as they were making their way back to the village to search for survivors, they were accosted by Shinra. The mayor of Coral was shot dead, and Dime was also shot from the cliff edge. Whilst Barrett was holding on to him for dear life, both of their arms were shot, and Barrett could do nothing but watch Dime fall to the bottom of the chasm. He explains that he eventually got a gun grafted in to replace his prosthetic arm, and that another man had also had the same operation, which must mean that Dime is still alive. We grab Barrett and Red 13 and head on through the desert prison to prepare for Barrett's confrontation with his old buddy, Dime. Hey up YouTube, and welcome back to part 9 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. As you've just seen in the recap video, this part of the game is actually one of my, my favourite parts. I, I think Barrett's character arc up to this point and sort of what you learn about Barrett during this section of the game is, is really heartwarming. So we are just about to take on um, the boss fight Dying, which is a completely solo Barrett boss fight. No Cloud, no Tifa, no Red 13, no Aerith, Aerith and no... Um, Pointless Kate Sith, as uh, you've just been introduced to um, in that recap video. This is where the game is really, really going to start taking a, a gear up um, in difficulty, I believe. I'm not going to do it this time, but there is a there is something that you can do to reduce your, to, to reduce your damage even further, not just by putting them in the back row. Um, I won't say what that is just at this moment because I just want to see how I get on without doing it this time round. So, we'll see how we get on, and if we do fail miserably at this, then um, obviously we'll have to re-look at that and, and, and see what we need to do in regards to that. But I'll just show you how I'm um, how I'm going to load Barrett out for this. So, we picked up the uh, W machine gun on the uh, train tracks on the road into Coral. Corel, Coral, whatever you want to call it. I always call it Coral. So, we picked up the W machine gun and we bought some carbon bangles in Coral as well. So, we've given him poison because poisoning bosses is just a thing in this game. A lot of bosses aren't immune to poison, so we've given him poison. We're going to keep it for it on him um, and fire. Uh, we've also popped the elemental material in there just to give it a bit of an AP buff. Um, and we've got restore and all. Obviously, the all's not really relevant because it's only Barrett, but, you know, it, it, it's there. So, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty tough. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get on with this. And like I said, th 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 there may be a do-over to this, but um, we'll... we'll, we'll 
see how we get on at first, and we'll we'll take it from there. So uh, yeah, it's time to face Dine. <sighs> right then, here we go. Right, well we've got a limit first and foremost, so that's fantastic. Straight away. Right, now we're going to try and poison him. And we have done. Brilliant. Uh, right, I'm going to cure him. Right, now we'll try fire. Try fire. Okay, might as well just attack with the damage that that's doing. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna cure. I'm gonna cure him again. I, I, I don't really want to risk it. I'm gonna try and keep his health as topped up as possible. Limit. Come on. I think we're gonna be getting to a Molotov cocktail at some point. Oh, I tell you what, I should have equipped him, we. I should have equipped him with bloody Choco Choco Mog. Cure. Okay, this is going okay so far. Right. Well, you are absolutely going to need to cure after this limit break, because I think he's probably going to get another attack in. Oh, I've done it. Oh, wow. Okay. I genuinely thought that was going to be harder than that. I really thought that was going to be more difficult. Well. Who knew, eh? That's dying. Done. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I know you get sick of me saying it um, at the end of all these videos, but um, your watches, your likes, your views, you know, they're, they're all really, really appreciated. If you are enjoying all of this content, please do uh, give us a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and uh, don't forget to tap that little notification bell to get notified for when these videos do go live. My name's Matt better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.